Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to the Lickin' Room. In order to answer probably the most common question that I get, I get this question all the time. Thumb picks, thumb picks. Do I recommend thumb picks or using the skin of my thumb? The same goes for fingernails uh, versus the tip of the finger or even finger picks. So let's start with thumb picks. Okay, the difference between using a thumb pick and not using a thumb pick is immediately noticeable. Immediately noticeable. Okay, if you use a thumb pick, let's say we're Travis picking. Okay, so A minor. Okay, I'm muting the string to get this special attack. Okay, this gives you the pick attack. You actually hear that. Okay, every time you... Okay, but if I don't mute it... Okay, it produces a lot of volume. So you have to get used to a thumb pick. Okay, thumb pick... Um, a thumb pick isn't meant to be soft. Whereas the softness of the skin translates itself to finger picking, right? Because you can't really get a pick attack from your skin, okay? You need a pick for that. So basically, it's a matter of preference between softness and sharpness, okay? Of the attack. And it changes from time to time, okay? Um, I tend to use a thumb pick whenever I have something that I also have to solo over, okay? Because, okay, using a thumb pick for soloing always produces a better sound than just using my fingers on acoustic guitar. On electric guitar, you can solo with your fingers and still get a pretty nice sound because of the nature of electricity. But with, um, with acoustic guitars, Okay, you sometimes want that attack when you solo. Okay, um, you can do this, you can twang, you can pull the string or... Okay, but nothing gets you that, that, that sharpness and brightness that you want, that holy rounded sound that you get with a pick. So that's when I usually use a thumb pick. Okay, so it's a matter of preference. Now, um, it's the same, but not the same. It's, it's almost the same idea with the tips of the fingers, okay? I, I feel that I have a lot more control over the sound if I use my skin, if I use the tips of my fingers, as opposed to using my fingernails. I'm not that used to it, but... Sometimes, you do want that fingernail sound, okay? Also with your thumb because it enhances the steely nature of the string. Okay, these are my fingernails, including my thumbnail. Okay, you, you hear the steel, the steel comes out more. But when you use the softness of your skin, okay, the steeliness Okay, the steely nature of the string that you're picking um, moves a little bit backwards to make way for the note itself, if that makes any sense. Now, as for finger picks, I've never personally used any finger picks. Okay, I know that with banjo, um, you kind of need for that traditional sound you need to use thumb picks and finger picks, um, but I'm a finger picker, so I just play the banjo with the, the skin of my fingers, 
just like I'm used to. So I have no definitive answer because I have no experience with finger picks whatsoever. So that's my take on fingernails, thumb picks versus just the bare hand, just the skin. And you can immediately hear the difference. You can immediately hear how it affects your sound, okay? So it's all a matter of preference and it's all good, okay? Sometimes I will even let my nails grow more because there's a period when I just enjoy that sound, okay? It's sometimes you want to change your sound. So sometimes I'll just let my nails grow for a while and just use my fingernails just to get a new sound instead of what I'm used to playing, okay? But most of the time I'm... I am a soft sound kind of guy, um, that's why I don't use thumb picks all that much. On Lick and Riff I don't use them at all, um, but when I noodle around with an acoustic guitar, sometimes even a classical guitar, sometimes I will put on a thumb pick, just again, just to get myself out of my comfort zone and get a new sound that I'm not used to getting. Okay, just for experimentation. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't, so I just put the thumb pick away. It's, it's a good tool to have anyway. Okay, so my recommendation is try it. Get yourself a thumb pick and try it. So uh, if you have any more questions like that, write me in the comments and I'll see you in the next lesson.